14 days based on the evidence they have against the former deputy chief minister of national capital. As far as Mani Sisodia is concerned, even if he gets bail in the CBI case, the ED is planning to keep Mani Sisodia behind the bars for at least few months. With camera person Pawan, this is Munish Pandey in Delhi for India Today. Now, in the course of this particular case, the CBI has not just been investigating Manish Sisodia, but also this supposed South cartel. Sources say that a quid pro quo deal was struck even with KCR's daughter, with K. Kavita, and an Andhra Pradesh MP, as well as his son. His son, the YSRCP MP's son, has already been taken into custody. So what really is this Sisodia South cartel money trail? Let's break that down for you. After Mani Sisodia is Kalvakuntala Kavita Rao next. With Sisodia's arrest, the BJP is now predicting that another big political gun will be arrested next by agencies in the Delhi Liquor Gate. And that is BRC MLC Telangana Chief Minister KCR's daughter, K. Kavita. Abhishek Boni Pallu or Bachi Babu Goranta ke khila, jo ki ke kavita ke chartered accountant bataya jate hai, unke khila karavai agar hogi or jo tar agar jude paenge, to chahe kitna bhi bada admi kyo na ho. Agar aap vipaksh ke mukhe mantri hai, to aap ka parivar corruption kare or bacha rahega, aisa is nijam mein nahi chal sakta. But the BRS is also fighting back with all its might. Kavita's brother KT Rama Rao lashed out at the Modi government, accusing the centre of misusing agencies. A veiled message of support, perhaps. Telangana Kubatina Shani, Telangana Kubatina Daritra Meda Nunadante, we Bharati at Janata Party and Chapakatapad. Eko Matlana Manko Punitla Matlanagada. Pampinra went on a ED in one pinri, CBI in one pinri, IT in one pinri, in Sanga Zudunri. Veta Kukka Laga, I in a Kinda on a Samstal and Usigolpi. Iwala, Pratipak Salami, the Dadi JND, Kesulu Betandi, Wala Niriki and the Jailo Betandene, Waka Dikumal and Panidapa, Unko Manchpane, the Jesteleti Pradanamantri. Doki, Doganticilla, Gar, Sibia, Idi, Kisiki Pazbi Ati, to Deshka Basha Banjaika, ask the money. Likin and Lok Tantrani, Sib Yurodi, Apne, Isili, Unko Sataya Jara, Jail Medala Jara, Menekal Bikaha, Kapke party, Missip Santa Matme or Sadu Betaka. किधर दिन हिमालय और केदारनाथ से अपडाउन करते हैं मंत्रालय में उनको ने हाथ लगाने की हिम्मत आप बट व्हाई इज द तेलंगाना लीडर्स नेम बीइंग ड्रैग्ड इनटू अ दिल्ली एक्साइज पॉलिसी केस द एलिगेशन स्टेम फ्रॉम अक्यूज टर्न्ड अप्रूवर दिनेश अरोरा हु नेम्ड के कविता she has been named in the ED charge sheet as well, which claimed that the BRS MLC was contacted by the accused, changed multiple phones and then destroyed these phones to get rid of evidence. But Kavita has dismissed all these allegations, calling it nothing but a witch hunt against her. Her former CA, Buchibabu Gorantla, has also been arrested by agencies in the case, spelling more trouble for her. KCR's daughter isn't the only one. YSR Congress Party MP Magunta Srinivasulu Reddy, his son Raghav Magunta and businessman Sharath Reddy are also accused and collectively have been called the South Group by the ED. From Delhi to Telangana to Andhra, the investigation into the Delhi excise policy has opened a political can of worms across the country. Bureau Report, India Today. So who are the names who are a part, allegedly, of the South Cartel, as the Enforcement Directorate mentions? Let's break that down for you, based on the ED charge sheet. Now, again, with regards to the South Cartel, the name of Manish Sisodia comes up. And from Sisodia, here's the exact trail, according to the Enforcement Directorate, Vijay Nair, another person, the AAP Communications in charge, who's already in custody, allegedly received 100 crores of kickbacks. Where did this money come from? It came from several South 
leaders and business people. Now, Samir Mahendru is a liquor trader who's also been taken into custody in this particular case. It is via Samir Mahendru that Abhishek Boinapalli really came into the picture. Known to be K. Kavita's aide, a businessman, his father was one of the founding members of the TRS. Now, it is from Abhishek Boinapalli that there was a link drawn to K. Kavita. According to the Enforcement Directorate, this link, in fact, for, of K. Kavita to Manish Sisodia followed this particular trail of these many leaders. And according to the ED, K. Kavita paid for a favourable liquor licence and she wasn't the only one. Why is it called a South Group? Because it wasn't just K. Kavita, but from Vijay Nair, there were several other names also involved. Magunta Srinivasula Reddy, a YSRCP MP, he's also allegedly paid for a favourable liquor licence. His name has also been mentioned in the ED charge sheet. And it's his son, Raghava Magunta, who's already been taken into custody. Again, the allegation is that he was in part of the deal as well. The other name, and this stems from Samir Mahindru, he was directly in touch with Samir Mahindru, is an influential businessman called Sharath Reddy. He too paid for a favourable liquor licence. Now, all of these four names you see here, this is allegedly the South Cartel along with Abhishek Boinapalli, and all of them reportedly met in a hotel room in Delhi in March to go ahead and have this kind of a favourable liquor deal signed, all at the behest, according to the ED, of Manish Sisodia. Just days after a handful of opposition parties shot off a letter to Prime Minister Modi alleging a political witch hunt through the misuse of central agencies, Union Minister G. Kishan Reddy has hit back. In fact, questioning if this is a result of the Prime Minister's intervention or if they have to pay the price for corruption. Now, in fact, Kishan Reddy has asked, is it Prime Minister Modi who asked all of you to loot people? Is it Prime Minister Modi who asked you to destroy phones, to destroy evidence? So this is, in fact, the attack that's coming from Kishan Reddy right now in the face of opposition parties, questioning, in fact, uh, the agencies and saying that this is political vendetta by the government. Loot you, you liquor business, you have policy, उसमें कंप्लेंट आया है कंप्लेंट के खिलाफ सीबीआई ने इंक्वायरी किया है उसमें गलत पाए आप लोग सरकार का पैसा जनता का पैसा लूटे हैं आप लोग हमारा क्या संबंध है उसमें उसमें भारतीय जनता पार्टी क्या संबंध है उसमें नरेंद्र मोदी जी क्या संबंध है क्यों लोग आप लोग इतने फोन से डिस्ट्रॉय किया है नरेंद्र मोदी बोले क्या रोज एक फोन खरीदना डिस्ट्रॉय करना दूसरा दिन दूसरा फोन यूज करना इससे इतने हजारों पैसे लूटना नरेंद्र मोदी जी बताए क्या ये विपक्ष नेताओं को इतना समझ में नहीं आता क्या so with the focus on the South Cartel, particularly with the arrest of Manish Sisodia, the BJP in Telangana has been saying the next high-profile arrest is going to be that of KCR's daughter of BRS MLC, Kalva Kuntla Kavita. She spoke exclusively to us here on India Today a few days ago, where she's refuted all of the allegations, spoken in great detail about every charge mentioned by the Enforcement Directorate. Here's my conversation with her. Uh, you're going to be in Delhi, ma'am, and uh, I'd be failing in my duty if I didn't raise the issue that everyone in Delhi is talking about, the liquor scam. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen all the developments that have happened with Mr. Manish Sisodia being arrested. Your name has constantly been brought up. Your name has been mentioned in the ED charge sheet. The allegation is that you're part of a South group, a South cartel, if you may, uh, which was a part of the dealings in the liquor probe, in the liquor scam. What is your response to this allegation in particular? Well, I, um, uh, I understand and believe that today everybody in the nation knows that whichever pole-bound state is there, there have to be ED and CBI cases against the people and parties uh, who are against the Bharati Janta Party. Bharati Janta Party has been doing that time and again in every state. So my state and uh, me, uh, we are not an exemption. Not only me, uh, various other ministers and MPs in my party are also being uh, troubled by these agencies. But we are sincere. We have done nothing wrong. So we will fully cooperate with the agencies for whatever investigation that they want to do. We've always cooperated and we will continue to do so. So you're saying this is nothing but political vendetta with months to go for the elections in Telangana. The BJP yes. in Telangana, ma'am, Bandi Sanjay and several other leaders have said you're next. You're going to be arrested by the central agency. 
Well, this is the unfortunate state of affairs in this country, where a political party is dictating who should be arrested next to the agencies. And if agencies are blindly following that, then they themselves are exposing the nexus that opposition is alleging, that there is a clear nexus between the agencies and the government, and whatever the political party in ruling is saying, that they are blindly doing. And I'll show you an example. Congress party was holding a adivation in Raipur the other day, and just a day before that, all their MLAs are raided in Congress in Chhattisgarh, and their trains are being stopped, power being cut, etc. What what have we come to as a nation? You can't a political party even hold a meeting. Why should you have to disturb even a meeting? So what what is the government afraid of? People meeting and talking. If they're afraid of even that, then that's really shows their insecurity, not ours. We are strong. We are sincere. We have not done anything wrong. So we are welcoming the probe. Let them let there be probe. But the 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 BJP party's machinery works to malign people's reputations, not by probing, but then giving away leaks, giving away various nasty news. They use toolkits to constantly malign people. Yesterday, at least, we found out. 400 to 500 handles on Twitter who are just tweeting same content over and over and over again. So one lie, if it is repeated like a thousand times, that is that is a concept I believe Bharti Janta Party is following. But we are not yeah. afraid. We will expose what they are doing and we will work very hard to convince people that we've done nothing wrong, but this is political vendetta. Uh, your political detractors, ma'am, when raising this issue, constantly highlight that, look, there's proof that's been mentioned in the ED charge sheet. K. Kavitha burnt phones, uh, destroyed phones that had evidence in them that she was part of a group that paid 100 crores uh, for, to ensure that, you know, there were certain suitable licenses given and all of that. What's your specific response to these allegations in the ED charge sheet that you destroyed evidence? Well, I'll tell you this uh, matter is sub -judice, but I'll still answer the question. I have not destroyed any evidence. All the phone numbers that the ED gave in that particular charge sheet um, or whatever, I'm not included, but somehow my name gets mentioned everywhere. Not a part of the case, but my name's get, name gets mentioned everywhere. All those phones that they say are missing are very much with me. They can come and collect it anytime, do whatever kind of analysis they want to do on it. That is not an issue. Uh, second one, the so-called allegations of bribes being paid, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, if you just sit and listen to 10 BJP people of what they exactly are saying. One person will say 50 crores, one person will say 100 crores, one is saying 1,000 crores. Another very uh, important person said 1 lakh crore scam has happened. So first of all, let the BJP party and the agencies decide if there is a scam at all. And then you try and you know penalize people who have done it. So they themselves are not clear. So this clearly shows that agencies are being used to harass the opposition. Agencies are being used to malign the reputation of opposition leaders. But mm. then people of this country now realize that this is this is the game plan of BJP. This is one of the um, fighting tactic of BJP uh, to win the elections in the poll bound states. And I don't think uh, people will believe it. People in Telangana have been very supportive. They've been constantly sending me texts. They tell me wherever I go. We understand this is a part of the vendetta, so be brave is what my people are telling me. And across the nation also, many people understand that today. And I don't think BJP will um, be doing any good to the nation by just targeting and harassing opposition. So you're saying very clearly that all of this is a complete lie, that you didn't destroy any evidence. Uh, what about the other allegation, ma'am, that you were in Delhi uh, last uh, year in March, that you met with Samir Mahindru, you met with Vijay Nair, who's been deemed as someone uh, who is the kingpin of this liquor scam, that you met all of them to talk to Manish Sisodia. Again, this is a subjective matter, but then I'll tell you again, I have not done anything wrong. I have not done anything that they are alleging that I have done. Uh, as a universal answer, I'll tell you this. I have no connection whatsoever with whatever cartel they are talking about. And if they want to pin me, pin my name in that and divert the attention of the nation from the important issues that the opposition is raising, simple issues like we've, we've always said, in Telangana, within eight years, if we can give water to every household, why cannot the BJP government do it across the nation? Why cannot you give 24 hours electricity across the nation when a new state like Telangana is able to do? So these are pertinent, important issues that we've constantly raised, which the government does not like us to raise. Now, today again, I'm raising an issue of Mahila bill. And unfortunately and unnecessarily, we are talking about a silly case, which is still not even a case and an allegation which is not yet proven, a scam who nobody knows if it existed, existed or not. So we are unnecessarily wasting the time of the people and so much bandwidth on air. 
So that is a tactic of BJP to divert the issues and to hide their failures behind using these agencies. My final question to you, ma'am. You're saying all of this is political vendetta. Uh, with months to go for the Telangana elections, do you think this entire narrative of scam, of corruption, will have any sort of bearing on your campaign, on the BRSS campaign in Telangana? Not at all. Not at all. Because people of Telangana have seen us work hard for them. They've seen us struggle on the streets to achieve the state. After the state would also be never rested. We've constantly worked. We made sure Telangana is number one in many, many, many indices in this nation. Today we've progressed extremely well. We are one of the brilliant state which attracts wonderful investments. So people know what we've done. So people in Telangana are supportive of BRS and I'm sure with their blessings, once again, we'll come back to power with a thumping majority. And we'll continue getting you all the latest updates and exclusive conversations uh, in the liquor scam. I'm slipping into a very short break. On the other side, the latest updates, a follow-up story on the migrant crisis in Tamil Nadu. As Chief Minister Stalin is now personally reaching out to these migrants to send out a message that there's no reason to fear, there's no reason to panic. जैसे सबसे तेज आपकी टैगलाइन है तो इसी तरह से सबसे तेज हमारी सरकार की लाइफलाइन है थैंक यू मिस्टर पुरी आई थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी द चांस टू एड्रेस यू टेररिज्म नाउ अ ग्लोबल इशू द फर्स्ट लेडी पोजीशन इज सो अनयूजुअल नेवर इन माय करियर डिड आई एवर एवर सी दैट लव एंड अफेक्शन इन एनी अदर कंट्री देन वी सो इन इंडिया इन 79 पाकिस्तान हैज बीन रिस्पांसिबल क्रोनिकली uh for association with sponsorship of terrorist groups another encounter in the umesh pal murder case atik ahmed gang's shooter gunned down by the prayagraj police Vijay Chaudhary alias Usman was killed in the wee hours of Monday in a Vikas Dubey encounter style. Usman was rushed to the Swarup Rani Nehru hospital where the doctors declared him dead. Hailing the encounter, UP mantris warned the mafia raj of meeting the same fate under the Yogi government. सरकार की घटनाओं को अंजाम देने वालों का यही हाल होता है. पूरी पुलिस टीम को बधाई उत्तर प्रदेश की 25 करोड़ जनता को विश्वास दिलाता हूं कि यूपी पुलिस उनकी सुरक्षा के लिए तत्पर है सभी अपराधियों को प्रयागराज वाले मामले में कानून के तहत कड़ी कड़ी सजा देने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है अपराधी कितने दुर्दांत हैं कि वो पुलिस पर भी हमला करने से बाज नहीं आ रहे हैं और इस मामले में एक एक अपराधी को पकड़ करके उसे सजा मिलेगी हमारी प्रतिबद्धता था in killing umesh pal but his wife differed from the police narrative ye hum nahi pata hai sir hum logo ko ki subhan aasif kahan pata hum log ghar mein vijay aur kya kehte hain nan baba sarkar ki chiratta ki niti hai aur un mafiyaon ke khilaf mitti mein milane ka kaam Reiterating Yogi's "Mitti mein mila denge wow," BJP Neta said another tranche of justice has been served in the best possible way. But the opposition is up in arms, questioning the Yogi government on these back-to-back -back encounters. News is also tightening around Atik Ahmed and his brother Ashraf, who are also lodged behind bars in the same murder case. Ashraf's wife and Atik's sister cried foul claiming they're being tortured day and night by the police. 
को इन्वेस्टिगेशन भी करना हो दोनों भाइयों को जेल के अंदर ही उनसे इन्वेस्टिगेशन ले लिया जाए कर लिया जाए पूछताछ कर लिया जाए जेल से बाहर बिल्कुल ना निकाला जाए उनकी जान का बहुत खतरा है मैं मुख्यमंत्री जी से यही अपील करती हूँ की उनकी साजिश की बात की है मेयर इस वक्त जो मेयर है वो साजिश कर रही है जिससे हमारी भाभी जो है इलेक्शन किसी तरह फाइट न कर पाए की उनको बहुत ज्यादा समर्थन मिल रहा Remember Omesh Pal, the key witness in the former BSP MLA Raju Pal's murder case, was shot dead on February 24th outside his home. With Samad Srivastava and Santosh Sharma, Bureau Report, India Today. Make your media plans smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at ajtag dot com. Assault, guns, violence, an unholy nexus. Confession of cow vigilantes. Operation Gaurakshak. India Today's special investigation at 8 p.m. Welcome back. We've been getting you every update that's been coming in from Tamil Nadu on the migrant crisis, the fear mongering that's been spreading across the state. After several fake videos of these attacks allegedly on my, 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 uh, migrants went viral, pro Tamil group was seen staging a protest against outsiders in the state, and this at a time when the Stalin government has been doing everything they can to reassure migrants that there's no reason for them to panic or to flee the state. Chief Minister M K Stalin today even interacted with several migrant workers, and while in fact lashing out to the opposition, claimed that all of this is a conspiracy to ensure that the D M K government is dethroned and to incite violence and riots in the state. After endless fake news. After endless fear mongering. <laughs> Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M K Stalin has personally intervened to reassure migrant workers in the state. The Chief Minister met with migrant workers in a factory in Tamil Nadu's Thirunelveli, reiterating that they are completely safe. In the case, not a pillow for the vendor and not told, would have been Kundra Kapudia, seller. In the Archie for the sale of the Kundra Kara there, Dravada model in the Sully Tavanaka Makura Ulatre or Kavarchi Karamana. But the chief minister has also hinted at a conspiracy, accusing the BJP of fueling hate politics in the state with a political agenda. Calling the instigations anti-national, Stalin said some elements were trying to incite riots in Tamil Nadu. In reke naate pura pura the vendor vendor na thode udavi kundra ko kudiya seller. In the archive for the sale pura kundra kara the. द्राड मॉडल 
தமிழ்நாட்டு மக்களுடைய உள்ளத்தில் ஒரு கவர்ச்சிகரமான ஒன் திங் தி சீஃப் மினிஸ்டர் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் செவன்டி இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் பார்ட்டிஸ் எக்ஸிஸ்டன்ஸ் ரைட் ஃப்ரம் நைன்டீன் ஃபார்ட்டி நைன் இஃப் யூ கோ பேக் வாட் எவர் ஹிஸ் லீடர்ஸ் ஹவ் ஸ்போக்கன் இன் த கண்ட்ரி வாட் எவர் த லீடர்ஸ் ஹவ் ஸ்போக்கன் எகெயின்ஸ்ட் த ஸ்பிரிட் ஆஃப் கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் தட் கிளியர்லி ஷோஸ் விச் பார்ட்டி வாஸ் டிவிசிவ் இன் தமிழ்நாடு அண்ட் நாட் பிஜேபி The DMK is doing everything it can to put out the migrant crisis fire. Party MP TR Balu met with Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar also to assure him that the government was committed to ensuring the safety of Bihar workers in Tamil Nadu. On the one hand, the Chief Minister has sent out a message of support to migrants, but at the same time protests broke out in Chennai against outsiders and jobs being given to those who are not from Tamil Nadu. any non brahmins have been no, uh, still now they have not implemented as an consul general in any countries so we are against this we are requesting the union government to implement the reservation in all the government departments for this uh, this only we are uh, today we are doing the protest as a measure to build confidence the district officials sps collectors and even the chief minister have met with migrant workers to assure them that tamil nadu is a safe place for them to work but the real test is whether these migrant workers who have gone back to their hometown for holi will they return or not is divyan pramod madhav for it today all right number has been booked by the tamil nadu corps has now fired a fresh taunt at chief minister stalin daring the tamil nadu chief minister to also file a case against prashant kishore anna malai essentially has quoted what prashant kishore put out on twitter when he too expressed concern over what's happening in tamil nadu so anna malai has said why don't you go ahead and arrest prashant kishore as well nd yeah. I am a small humble servant of Bharat. I am doing my own thing to create a better Tamil Nadu. They have filed 86 cases they will they couldn't stop me. So 87th case is not going to stop me. Neither are the next 100 cases DMK is going to book against me not. I am ready to go to jail. I am requesting Stalin ji to send Prasanth Kishore also to me to the same jail. Why because Prasanth Kishore also has tweeted in Hindi that All right with that I'm slipping into a very short break coming up on the other side we're getting you all of the color all of the celebrations as holy fever has gripped the country we caught up with BSF Jawans along the international border who were also seen celebrating the festival of colors far from home consumer industry in india fmcgs and other such products have been a victim of indiscriminate low quality imports because of which india has suffered indians have suffered i think over the last uh, 25 30 years while on the one hand 30 years while on the one hand we tried to liberalize the economy i suspect after a big bang in 1991 we kind of faltered along the way and by 94 or so we saw the reform movement stagnating then saw a long period of 20 years of coalition governments which did not really bring stability into the system during which period indian manufacturing got weaker of course a number of foreign companies or foreign uh, suppliers did come into the country some of them manufactured in india most of them imported into india and during that period when we should have strengthened our domestic ecosystem strengthened indian industry strengthened investments in uh, domestic manufacturing focused on quality focused on scale i think we lost out by allowing a lot of indiscriminate low quality low cost goods coming into the country i was sharing uh, probably a couple of days back this the details where our own imports from one geography led to an increase of uh, 
the trade deficit with that country from barely a billion odd dollars, billion 200 million, 1.2 billion dollars, to about 48 billion dollars in a 10 year span between 4 and 14. And that broke the back of Indian manufacturing. It actually created a set of uh, business persons who literally became dependent on imports, who met the consumer demand, but met them through pricing, which was often just meant to undercut all domestic manufacturing, sometimes predatory. And in the process, we weakened the drive that India should have had for promoting Indian domestic high quality manufacturing. This is paradise for a tech geek, the Lucid Air here at the Mobile World Congress. A very good looking car, zero to 100 in under 2.7 seconds, 1,111 horsepower, nearly $150,000 in the US. We haven't seen this back home, but if you speak to Lucid, they're not comparing it to the Tesla, interestingly. They talk about comparing it to the EQS or even more premium cars out there in the market. But here's an exclusive first look of the Lucid Air at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. There's a lot of things happening here at the Congress. EVs, not too many. We've seen a Tesla. There's one parked right over there as well. And then, of course, you have a Lucid here as well. There's more EVs at the Auto Expo and, of course, at CES Las Vegas. But, of course, technology, EVs, it's all one big bucket. And, of course, you get all that coverage on Tech Today. And when we do take that out for a drive, and maybe we'll get you exclusive visuals very soon, you might need to take a break, strap up, put your seatbelt on, and be prepared for it. And I'll tell you how I want to exit this particular frame. Well, this is me at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And this also happens to be me at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And off I go. Welcome back. Everyone is in holy spirit as the colourful celebrations of the festival is kicked off across the country. Let's ground up for you all the images coming in right now. Beautiful holy celebrations are taking place in Baba Mahakal Temple located in Ujjain. According to the traditions that are followed, Abir Gulal are applied to Baba's idol and Aarti is performed. The priests also were seen playing holy with flowers and devotees who reached the temple premises also played with lots of colours. An amazing divine wave of holy celebrations also took place at the Sri Banke Bihari Temple in Vrindavan. Devotees played holy with Ladli Thakur, that's Sri Krishna. The temple is beautifully decorated and priests hurled holy water and colour powder at the gathering. Devotees thronged the Dwarkadhi's temple in Rajasthan's Jalrapatana on the occasion of holy men and women participated in the holy festivities and threw gulal at each other. Here's yes, a heartwarming image of government school teachers playing holy with children by showering colours and gulal at them in Oraya in Uttar Pradesh. It was an eco-friendly holy where they threw flower petals at each other and sang songs. We all get to celebrate Holi with our loved ones, with our families, but spare a thought for our Javans who are out there away from their families to ensure that we can have a safe Holi. And they were seen celebrating together at the international border in the Samba sector of Jammu. For them, it's home away from home. Here's a report.
as the festival of color arrives the country is dipped in holy fervor our brave jawans posted along the border keeping a strict vigil to ensure we can celebrate this festival also indulged in spreading some love and color far from home jawans along the india pakistan border and the loc from jaisalmer to jammu celebrated holi Jawan celebrated Holi at the international border in the Samba sector of Jammu and Kashmir far from their families. They celebrated Holi with locals offering sweets, singing and dancing together. Thai nation is celebrating the festival of colors Holi with great joy and enthusiasm. We are at the India Pakistan international border and here you can see that there is massive enthusiasm among our brave hearts among our BSF jawans. they are dancing and celebrating this occasion they may be away from their families but there is no grudge on their faces i hope that uh, all uh, indians are celebrating the colorful uh, festival of holi so everyone should be enjoy the border security force jawans in jaisalmer organized a holi samaroh with a dash of patriotism playing with color and dancing away these jawans chanted bharat mata ki jai slogans भारत माता की जय भारत माता की जय की जय की जय ऐसा महसूस लग रहा है अपने घर में अपने परिवार में होली मिला रहे हैं ये हमारा परिवार है यही हमारा घर है हम देश की रक्षा के लिए सीमा पे बैठे हैं किसी किस्म की कोई भी घटना नहीं होने देंगे जो ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स हम सीमा पे तैयार खड़े हैं सब त्यौहार है जो किसी धर्म या संप्रदाय का नहीं है वो सभी धर्मों के लिए समान है और इसमें हम सब मन मिटा मिटा के एक दूसरे को गले लगाते हैं और गुलाल लगाते हैं और देश को हम ये संदेश देना चाहते हैं कि हम एक्स्ट्रा अलर्ट होके त्यौहार पे ड्यूटी कर रहे हैं वो सुरक्षित होली मनाए But for these heroes it's a brief celebration with sweets and color as they continue to keep a close watch day and night at our borders With Sunil ji but in Jammu pure report India today From all of us here on India today here's wishing all of you a very very happy and colorful holi I'm leaving you with the images coming in of our men's cricket team also celebrating the festival of colors <laughs> So let me ask you a a few more granular questions about the whole consumption piece uh, let's start from the top the ones which are not seen as rural focused but are very expensive uh, they've been underperforming over the last few quarters the names the expensive ones like asian paints and pedialyte and havels uh, do you see further room for compression of their multiples or have they compressed enough so uh, let me take a step back and let's try and understand what are what are the things happening i mean there are two big trends happening in the market today uh, one is that obviously we are no longer in a low interest rate environment and easy liquidity environment which had led to these valuations going up uh, much more than the earnings growth rate these stock prices went up much more than the earnings growth rate uh, so there there is a valuation discipline coming back into the market let me just reemphasize that word valuation discipline uh it doesn't mean that uh, every expensive stock is doing badly uh, but discipline is definitely coming back and the second thing which is happening is that we are seeing a revival in the cyclical parts of the economy which is credit growth investment cycle real estate manufacturing so you know uh, ultimately it's a zero sum game uh, one of the reasons why some of these stocks or sectors became expensive was apart from low interest rates also because of lack of alternatives because the cyclical part of the economy was not doing well 
now that that part of the economy has also started firing uh, after you know almost a lost decade uh, we are seeing uh, a dual impact on the let's say the defensive high quality high growth high pe kind of stocks which are coming under pressure from from both aspects high interest rates as well as the alternatives which are now available in the market to uh, to really generate alpha yellow pink green the colors of holi in all their splendor and quite natural too कलर हम चावल से बनाते हैं चावल का पीट आ, पीट बना के और उसमें हल्दी पालक टमाटर बीट वगैरह ऐसे बारीक करके और मिक्सर में निकाल के वो करते हैं सोप जीरा मुझे अपने शरीर के लिए वो अच्छा हानिकारक नहीं है ये कलर पूरा ही लाभदायी है इसको अगर ये हमने लगाया तो कोई साइड इफेक्ट नहीं है पर उसके अलावा ये अगर पेट में भी जाता है तो ठंडाई का काम करता है A women's self-help group in Maharashtra's Akola district is making organic colors prepared from rice and vegetables like green spinach, carrots, tomatoes, turmeric and beetroot. The process to make these natural colors is laborious. Ye Suryodaya Mahila Guru Udyog hai jo Deepika Tai chalati hai. Unhone humko bataya ki ab sab ghar pe hai kuch to karna padega. Saath mein karenge to sab ko साथ मिलेंगी और सबको पैसा भी मिलेगा इसलिए हमने चालू किया और दीपिका ताई ने हमारे को रोजगार दिया रोजगार दिया तो हमारा भी परिवार चल रहा है देर ह्यूज डिमांड फॉर देर ऑर्गेनिक कलर्स इन डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड देर ऑल्सो एक्सपोर्टिंग दैम टू नेपाल द वेंचर विच रिसेंटली गॉट एन ऑर्डर फॉर सेवन क्विंटल ऑफ कलर हैज जनरेटेड एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर मेनी इन दिस एरिया द पैंडेमिक हेड हिट इनकम्स ऑफ दीज वुमेन but the festival of holi this year is proving to be a profitable one for them your report in their day you learned how to smile after watching the most recent viral video this popular video shows a little child playing with his cat the young boy seen playing catch with his pet the innocence and cuteness of this boy is being loved by netizens thank 
is always better. Taking to their Instagram handle, Bipasha Basu and Karun Singh Rova shared a cutesy video featuring their baby girl Devi's hand and feet getting cast. In the video, the baby girl looked adorable in a pink printed top and pants while sleeping on her mommy's shoulder. We can also spot how the clay casting artist was seen taking impressions of the baby girl's hands and the feet. The video simply too cute for words. In a jubilant scene, a trapped horse was rescued from earthquake rubble after 21 days in Turkey. A Turkish entrepreneur shared a video of the rescue operation where the social media users were quick to react to the video calling this survival a pure miracle. The devastating earthquake that struck Turkey and Syria killed more than 50,000 people. Soccer fans in Istanbul flooded the pitch on 26th February with plush toys for children who survived the two devastating earthquakes that hit earlier this month.